Welcome to My Sports Reports, where we celebrate positive achievements of amateur athletes from all across the country. My name is Marshall Manlove, and this is an episode of Amateur Sports Milestones. I know there's always new people watching. Who am I? I covered local sports in my home state in Delaware for quite some time. Over the past 20 years or so, I've traveled around the country entertaining in a show that I'll talk about here in just a moment. And over the last couple of years, decided to expand my coverage of amateur sports from all the places that I visit all around the country and even beyond there. And I say beyond there because while I see and meet and hear about some accomplishments from my travels out there, there's always other stuff that I miss. So you can submit some of these things that you are going to see on this episode to us at my sports reports at gmail.com but let's begin I'll talk about the other thing in just a moment because after all I do like to promote myself especially what I do because it's very very cool but again I digress let's begin let's go down to Florida where Jaden Otto from Palm Beach Atlantic University reached a 3,000 assist milestone for her career as setter for the Sailfish Volleyball Team. To Indiana, McKenna Rankins from Greenfield Central High School dished out her 1,000th career assist for the Cougars Volleyball Team. To Texas, Will Hammond from Hutto, Texas had one of the greatest games in high school football history. The Texas Tech bound quarterback threw 58 times in a game, completing 36 passes for 719 yards and four touchdowns. He also rushed for six touchdowns and 88 yards. The 719 yards passing puts him fifth all time for a single game. And this was part of an 80 point effort in a game, unfortunately, which they lost. And we interviewed Will Hammond. Just find that interview. Great kid, one of the top ranked quarterbacks in all of the United States at the high school level. And on the video platforms, wherever you find these, you can uh, find out more about him. Great kid. To Pennsylvania, Malia Weber from Emmaus High School scored eight goals in a game for the Hornets in their home opener for 2023 for the field hockey team. This total is the fourth best mark currently currently recorded in NFHS history for a single game. And we're trying to arrange to talk to her as well. It's just tough with our schedules right now. We will stay in Pennsylvania. Kirsten Davis from Shippensburg University was celebrated for her 1,000th career assist for the volleyball team. She is just in her sophomore year. Staying in Pennsylvania, Tommy Clark from Dunmore High School scored the 50th goal in his career for the soccer team. This is brought to you by me, Marshall Manlove, stage hypnotist. If you would like a funny, fascinating, and memorable experience for a party or an event that you're having, please consider my stage hypnosis show, details about which you can find at marshallmanlove.com. Now, I don't do many live, publicly available shows. If you're in the Delaware area on October 7th, I'm doing a show there at the Smyrna Opera House, ticket information and the calendar section at marshallmanlove.com. We'll go to West Virginia now. Sarah Granger from Glenville State University is a new member of the 1000 Assist Club as she reaches the mark for the Pioneers volleyball team. To Louisiana, LSU's Erin Carmichael reached the 1500 dig milestone for her career with the Tigers volleyball team. To California, Cynthia Ramirez from Allen Hancock College in Santa Maria broke the women's soccer program record for goals in a game with six. The record-breaking effort came against Porterville College. Back to West Virginia, Will Mitchell from Hurricane High School set a new school record for kicking extra points in a football game when he went 13 for 13 for the Skins. This left him one shy of making the NFHS all-time list. He needed one more to get 14 and be on that list. And in case you're wondering, the record for extra points in a game by a kicker is 27. This was set in 1902. 
to Tennessee, Julia Wheeler from Carson Newman University in Jefferson City reached the 1,000 kill mark for the volleyball program and her career. Back to Pennsylvania, Haley Noblitt from Greencastle Antrim High School scored two goals and added an assist in a soccer game against James Buchanan High School. The points pushed her past the 200-point mark for her career. That's a busy kicker there. To Mississippi, Macadin Holly from Kosath High School and the volleyball team was honored for reaching the 1,000 assist mark for her career as their setter. To Tennessee, Kate Schreyer from Siegel High School in Murfreesboro is holding the Golden Volleyball commemorating her 1,000th career dig for the volleyball team. To Indiana, Kennedy Bell from Yorktown High School is seen celebrating her 1,000th career assist for the Tigers volleyball team. To Texas, Cameron Kimes from College Station High School is a new member of the 1,000 career dig club for the Cougar volleyball team. We'll stay there in Texas. Cecilia Mullen from Brennan High School in San Antonio reached the 1,000 dig mark for her volleyball career with the Bears. To Oklahoma, Avery Kalsu from the University of Tulsa reached the 1,500 assist mark for her career with their volleyball program. To Pennsylvania, Kelsey Shires from the Central Penn Field Hockey Club in Camp Hill saved the 500th shot of her career for the field hockey team. Obviously, it was the field hockey team. It's the field hockey club. <laughs> Who writes this stuff? To Ohio, Ava Dittmar from Tri-Valley High School in Dresden is holding a volleyball commemorating her 1,000th career kill. She's on the right. And also from Ohio, also from Tri-Valley High School in Dresden, Ingrid Dittmar registered her 1,000th career assist for the volleyball team. She is number eight. She is on the left over there. Yes, they're sisters. <laughs> we'll stay in Ohio. Mallory Maylock, a junior from Lakeview High School in Cortland, dished out her 1,000th career assist for the Lady Bulldogs volleyball team. To Missouri, Peyton Will Banks is from Liberty High School and runs cross country. He broke the school record for the 5K with a time of 1523.9. And to Pennsylvania, Luke Stevanoski from Minersville High School ties his school record for rushing touchdowns in one game with six this past weekend. The six touchdowns came on just 12 carries of the football. So if you know of a milestone such as any of these which you saw in this episode, just submit them to us at mysportsreports at gmail.com. What we need, the picture, the name, the state, the school, the city if the school's name isn't the same, and the accomplishment. And if you th think you might have set one a little while ago, just reach out to me. I'll tell you if we celebrated or not and where you might be able to find that episode. So that's the information that you need to know. My name is Marshall Manlove. And from the home studio in Middletown, Delaware, I wish you all a great day. Because now it is time for afternoon snackies here in the home studio in Middletown, Delaware. The pause is just because I have to try to find the button which ends this mess. I found it. Here we go. Snacky time, yeah.